Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Min Prison Planner. <clears throat> and my voice just cracked, but whatever. Welcome back to my channel for another video, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching. Uh, today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of July 13th in my uh, Medium Vertical Recollections Planner. And this is a kit featuring Dashes and Designs, which is a shop that I PR for. So use my code LISA10. But anyways, if you want to see me pre-plan this week, what I do is I pre-plan for the week, what I know is going to be coming up. And I will have that video linked down below or it'll pop up in the cards if you want to check that out. Then I have all these white spaces left in my planner from <clears throat> things that I just don't have plans for. And I will go in day by day and just kind of memory keep with the things that I did or things that happened. So that's what this video is going to be. So um, I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and start with Monday. So starting with Monday, I had um, quite a few things to do. So I'm just going to take a checklist here from the kit. One of these little three mini 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 three heart checklist what are they called anyways so we needed to charge this um portable battery we have this like portable battery um that my in-laws gave us and we needed to charge that it's for um i should i should say it's a portable car charger you know like in case you need to jump your car we needed to charge that to get my husband's car up and running also i don't know what happened to the footage of me using like taking the sticker off the sheet whatever anyways or writing it in <sighs> whatever's anyways so I needed to we needed to do that because my husband's car we hadn't used it since like January literally and so the battery was dead um so we needed to get it jump started since my car is also dead um and then it turned out that we couldn't start it because it needed a new battery so we had to go um and get the it was still under warranty thankfully so we went to Sam's Club to get the new battery and then I had to call the auto place where my car is at so I can figure out what's going on with my car and why isn't it starting. <laughs> I also took a couple of side bows from Simply Watercolor Co. Just for a little accent and then a little flourish from my newest addiction to zhuzh it up a little bit again. Just prettiness. Um, and then for my gratitude, I, for Monday I wrote that I was grateful the battery was under warranty because it was just shy of like a month of being out of warranty because it was a three-year warranty. And I still kept the receipt too, so... Anyways, moving on to Tuesday, uh, we had to make a trip to Home Depot because we needed to get some new weather stripping because we had previously bought some weather stripping, but it was like the wrong size. So I hate doing home projects, but you know, I don't want to pay anybody else to do it. So we had to do that. So I just used a box in the kit and then I put like a little shopping cart hexagon bow icon over that from the kit. And then I wanted to do a little separation there. So I'm going to take a little Nikki squiggle from Rose Color Days to just put in between there and look pretty. Then I'm going to take a half box from the kit uh, just to write in that I, after, you know, calling the auto place, I found out that um, my car needed uh, a new engine, unfortunately. So um, I'm putting that in with a half box and a, um, oh, because the reason was, so Monday I wrote the auto place, but I didn't call them, sorry. I actually went there to give them my keys because my car was dropped off over the weekend and they were closed. So I went there to give them my keys so they could check out my car. So Tuesday was when I found out it needs a new engine. Anyway, so I put that in a half box and I'm using a um, Simply Water Color Co. like bow divider just to put on the top to like, I don't know, make it like a bow box or something cute, whatever. And then I have a little heart um, car icon from Simply Gilded just to mark that. Um, and then I'm going to take a pretty little like marker divider from The Giving Girl and um because i didn't you know couldn't really fit anything else in there um and tuesday i wrote that i was grateful for having lunch with my in-laws because they came over because they were helping us fix my husband's battery issues with his car and they went and like you know they had the new battery um uh taking care of at sam's club for us and then my father-in-law was the one that was putting it in the car um for us and then they brought like lunch for us too um when they dropped his car back off so it was nice that they came in and had lunch with us before leaving and they left us with his you know a working car for now so anyways um for Wednesday I'm gonna go ahead and just mark that um wait what did I just put in there sorry I was repositioning myself get kind of uncomfortable I put a half box in for updating my budget and then a cute little juniper bunny from Simply Gilded with glasses and a bow as a little, you know, side bow from Simply Watercolor Co. Just to mark that my son's new prescription glasses were ready and they were ready much quicker than we thought they would be. They told us it could take like two to three weeks because everything's kind of going a little slow because of the virus. But um, it was like an exact week and an exact full seven days. Not business days, like regular calendar days um, from his eye doctor appointment that they had his glasses ready. So that's great. So anyways, we picked up his glasses and then the half box was to mark, um, just doing our like 
my little budget. Like I, I try to, you know, update my, my checkbook and, um, budget every, at least every other day. Just, it depends on how many purchases we, purchases we made and stuff. Cause you know, it gets out of, if it gets too out of hand, if I go like a whole week and I don't update my checkbook, then I'm just like nervous. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, what if I forgot to write something down? And then how do I know if I, I get nervous if like the balance in my checkbook doesn't match the balance on the bank account. Cause I'm like, what did I forget? <laughs> so anyways, I updated that. And it's really hard writing next to the quill, so <laughs> kind of looks ugly, but um, oh well, I tried the best I could. Um, I tried even using like something underneath it to help me write. Um, and then the budget sticker, unfortunately, the script, I don't know who that's from. That was just like a sheet that was gifted to me and um, the like shop names cut off of that sheet. So unfortunately, I don't know where that's from. Um, and then I also used, I, I don't, I didn't see where I put it in, but I apparently put it in. <laughs> I've used a Dash of Sun Designs um, dollar sign icon. Um, that's from an order sheet that she used to offer. Um, also on this day, I didn't have my pre-plans, but I obviously put in the planner because sometimes what I'll do is I'll pre-plan and then, you know, that that's that. But then if something comes up, if I know something's coming up like Friday, um, I'm not going to wait until Friday memory planning to put that in. I'm like, I'm going to put it in now, you know? So you'll see that some things I've added in from my pre-plan or they're not, they're not in my pre-plan, but they're also not in my memory planning. And that's just because that's what that is. So I did also have a package delivery on Wednesday. I don't know if you saw it, but the little package icon was from Cozy Paper Co. Uh, for Wednesday's gratitude, I just wrote, I was grateful that my husband's car works. And then moving on to Thursday, I don't know what I was doing, like fiddling around with the wires and the cords. I don't know. Anyways, um, basically all I did was just check off the little errands that we ran on Thursday. And then I did want to make sure that I wrote down that my, we refilled my husband's, um, prescription. So I got this little RX pill bottle from again, another shop. I don't know where it's from. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then just like a little strip of washi from the kit and just wrote refill RX on there. Um, and I wrote that I was grateful for my message because I received like a personal message on Thursday and I thought it was really like enlightening. So I was grateful for that. Um, Friday, there was like, just again, not really a lot of space over this whole weekend. There wasn't the whole like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like I filled it up. So unfortunately I couldn't do a lot of memory planning on the weekend. Um, and then this squiggle really didn't want to budge, but I did eventually get it. And all I have room for is just like a cute little squiggle underneath the film plan with me. So that's all I did. By the way, that little bookmark quill thingy that you're seeing there, um, is actually a little um, it's a washi card from Simply Gilded that I made myself, like hole punched it myself, and it was a hassle. <laughs> but I, you know, wanted to kind of try to do my own thing and make my own little bookmarks, so um, I did that. <laughs> Anyways, for Thursday, oh no, sorry, for Friday Gratitude, I wrote I was grateful for that DIY bookmark because I miss having like that ruler. Like I used to have that Erin Condren ruler, but she is racist and I don't want to deal with her shit, so... <laughs> Pardon the language. Anyways, um, so I threw that out and I made my own little bookmark uh, a ruler kind of thingy. So anyways, whatever. Uh, that's what I did for Friday. And then, sorry, I'm behind. Saturday again, I didn't have room to do anything. So I just checked off all of my stuff that I did and wrote in that I was grateful for meditation because I have started meditating regularly and it is so calming, so peaceful. Oh, and I also forgot that I wrote um, the name of the movie that we watched on Saturday over at my in-laws house, which is called The Wild. It's cute. It's about like a dog and his adventure. So if you're into that. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I didn't have any room to write anything. So I just wrote in that I was grateful for uh, being officially announced as part of the Wild Summer Designs PR team. Um, and then I just checked off some of my to-do list stuff in the sidebar. But yeah, I'm just super excited to be a part of Kristen's team because I've been purchasing from her shop for years, literally like two or three years. I stand by it. I've always stand by it, bought it, by it. Stan bought it? No, I've always stood. Oh, there we go. I've always stood by it. So anyways, be sure to use my code or mention my name if you want my freebie from Wild Summer Designs. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Definitely subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any more of these videos because I upload three times a week or at least two <laughs> times. And um, leave me a comment if you have a question about anything. All these shops are linked down below. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.